Hello everyone, my name is Ping Chen Ye. You can also call me Benson. I'm a double E professor from National Taiwan University, also known as NTU. I'm also the director of NTU MOOC. Today, I'm very excited because I want to introduce to you a very cool system that we just finished building and launched last week. It's called Pagemo. Pagemo is the world's first ever multi-student social game platform ever built for MOOC courses. With Pagemo, most of our MOOC instructors can easily retransform your course into a very interesting game to your student. And after we launched it last week in my Coursera course, boy, we really got students addicted to learning. And that's why I'm so excited. And that's why I really want to share this with you. We at National Taiwan University, our top goal is to produce the very good quality MOOC courses, particularly in Chinese. On August 31st, my course, the probability course, and Professor Lu's Qin Si Huang course. These two courses are the world's very first two MOOC courses ever taught in Chinese. And that's why we got overwhelming enrollment from Chinese students all over the world. And in addition to the course production, I'm also personally very interested in exploring the possibility of using game technology for learning and teaching. And I've done that for three years already. And we got a lot of good success in real courses as well as currently in the MOOC courses. And after three years of effort, we finally finished building this system. Pagemo is the world's first ever MOOC based multi student social game platform built for Coursera. Okay? We launched it last week in my Coursera course, and we got so many very good, very great feedbacks from our students. And let me show you one of the feedback that I like most. It's from a girl. It says, Professor, Pokemon is so much fun. I'm a girl who never plays games, but I ended up, ended up having so much fun and I got addicted to it. And now I no longer want to get offline. Boy, we really get our students addicted to learning. That's the dream of every teacher, right? And we really get it done. And that's why I really want to share this with you. So now, please allow me to show you what Pokemon looks like. Pagemo is now currently linked to my probability course on Coursera. So we have to go to our probability course website. So as you can see here, you can see the Pagemo link at the col left column here. Just click on it and the system will bring us to the Pagemo platform. So we finally get to see what Pagemo looks like. It is basically a map system that can accommodate many users on the map. We can accommodate around 600 to 1,000 users for each map. And if you have much larger student enrollment than 1,000, don't worry. You can use multiple maps to accommodate many more users. And if you look at this map, we can see that there has been many students enjoying the fun of this game on this map already. The purpose of this game is for each user to occupy as much land as possible. So take my land for example, if I want to occupy this empty land, I just click on it, and then I click on the occupy. And you will see that the system will then automatically send a probability problem for me to solve. If I solve it correctly, then I get to occupy that land. Okay, let me quit here. In addition to occupy the empty land. There's another design that each player can occupy your neighboring player's land. Let's take this area for example. As you can see, the yellow player kept attacking on the orange player. And now the orange player only have two pieces of land left. But don't worry about this orange player being frustrated once he or she got exterminated. Because for all exterminated players, we will let them reborn on some other area along with other players who have been uh, exterminated before. So they will play much uh, happily there with, along with the other people in a much peaceful area. Okay. In addition to the offense, we also have game design for the defense part. Let's say if you don't want your neighboring players to attack on your land, what you can do? You can do something, okay? As you can see, once you get uh, a big territory, your land will start to generate fortune uh, 
the money for you. Okay, you can have much a uh, lots of money here. Okay, what you can do with that money? You can go to the store and you can buy some monster. We have three levels, three diff different levels of monster here. Let's say if I buy this level two monster. Once I buy the monster, what can I do? I can deploy the monster at the boundary of my territory. Okay. Oh, so how does this help you in defense? Well, you see, if somebody want to attack this land, the system will assign a problem for him to solve from the land. In addition to that, the monster will also, you can see that we already have one monster here. This monster will generate another problem for your neighboring player to solve. So your neighboring player has to finish solving two problems correctly before he or she can occupy this land. And let's say if you deploy two monsters here, you can see here, then your neighboring player have to finish solving three problems. One from the land and two from this level three monsters. And the level of the monster, monsters represent the difficulty level of the problems. If you buy a much more expensive level three monsters, the level three monster will generate a much harder problem for, for your neighboring player to solve compared to a level one monster. Okay, so you can use your money to buy more monster to deploy it on the boundary of your territory to avoid your neighboring players to attack on you. Okay, this is another interesting feature of our game. And next, let me introduce to you the personal information uh, area. If you click on here, you can see the personal information area. And here you get to see your information, your Coursera ID, your money, and the number of territory, and the number of problem sets that you successfully solve. And the most important thing is here, the ranking part. We will have two different ranking. One is the ranking uh, about the number of the questions solved by this user. And you can see that this is your current ranking. And these are the top 10 players of the game right now. That's the top 10 among the players all over the world. In addition to the uh, ranking on the number of questions solved, we also have a ranking on the territory. Okay, you can see that this is the number of territory uh, occupied by the top 10 uh, players among the world. So this gives the student very strong motivation to play this game because they really want to see their name appear on the top 10 list. Okay, so student gets very motivated and get very engaged to the game. And that's another big plus of our game. So finally, I would like to introduce our arena feature. If you are a student who really like to battle with other students, you can go to the arena and you can compete with several students together. The system will assign multiple problems for you guys to solve. And the person who gets to solve these problems in the shortest time, you are the winner among all players in the arena and you get extra award for winning the battle. So that is our Pokemon system. It's really a lot of fun on this system. And that's why our students get addicted to solving problems. As you can see, this Pokemon system is designed for uh, general courses. So any courses with enough number of problem sets and correct answer, you just input them to the system and you get to transform your course into a game right away. So it's very efficient and very easy for you to make your course into a game. As you can see, it's a lot of fun in Pokemon, right? But you know, we are not doing TV commercial, right? So we cannot just say good things. We also have to address problems. Is there any problem with Pokemon? Yes, we do have a problem. After we launched the system last week, after a week, students complaining about not having enough homework problems to work on. You see, originally we thought that it, it probably is too much to ask a student to solve more than six probability problems a night, right? So that's why we just prepared 70 for two weeks of period. But it's totally beyond our imagination. We we never would imagine that student got so much addicted to it that they finish solving all 70 problems within just a week. And that's why they keep complaining about not having enough problems to work on. 
and that is totally beyond our imagination. So if you want to use this Pokemon system, be prepared because students will get so much addicted to working on your problems. You have to have enough problems for your students to work on. Okay. And here I would specially like to thank uh, there are there are twelve double E and computer science students from National Taiwan University who closely work with me to build this system. They just like me. We have very strong desire to change the way that people learn in the world. And that's why those 12 students and, and me, we spend so much time, so much effort into building this platform. And I really want to thank them. Jiang Shengwen, Shen Dajun, Chen Yanlin, Chen Yanjun, Xu Zixiang, Zhu Bocheng, Zhang Yaolin, Yu Langqi, Xia Ziyang, Tang Weixian, Li Jialin, Lin Guanyun, and my very good friend Cai Yichen, who helped me guide this, helped me guiding those students. Okay, and um, last couple of weeks ago, we also got invited to give a TED talk at Taipei to tell the story to the world that we are building a very cool system that can get students addicted to learning. Okay? And we believe Pagemo is going to introduce the next paradigm shift for online learning. Why? My reason is very simple. You see, Coursera moves learning from classroom to internet. And Coursera got a big success. Why? Because the student nowadays cannot live without internet. But what about five years later? In my vision, I think five years later, when because the kids nowadays, they all play games since childhood. So five years later, when they become college students, let me tell you this, those students cannot live without games. I believe MOOC plus Pagemo is going to create the next paradigm shift for online education. And that's why we really want to share this with you. Currently, we are working very hard to make Pagemo even more perfect so that we can provide this service to all Coursera partner school in the short future. So any Coursera instructor who wants to transform their course into a game, we want to provide this kind of service for them. But as for now, we would like to specially invite three Coursera courses, three Coursera courses who want to make their course into a game. Okay, If you are an instructor of a Coursera course and you are really interested to do this pioneer run with us, just feel free to let me know. Okay, With these three courses, we want to collect the user feedback from these three courses plus the student feedback from my courses. We can make this Coursera even more perfect for all partner schools. So if you are a Coursera instructor who are really interested to join this, this pioneer run, please feel free to contact me. Okay, This is my email information and hopefully we can together create a very special, very unique experience for your student, just like my student who just enjoyed it so much. Okay, thank you very much, and that's Pokemon. Thank you.